Okay, next we have a pretty good sized oak tree. We're gonna cut down because it has some decay in it. We had to move this old contraption here. Commercial duty rated, 10 horsepower, ooh. That, there's a big hole there. There's a bigger hole on the other side. So, definitely want a, a compensation line in this puppy. Damien's gonna go fall a decrepit snag while I set this line. It's ugly. Yeah, it's bad looking. He says he doesn't think it's... Well, don't get hurt then. Okay. This tree has various decay all over it. Sometimes you gotta look at these trees and think, what would I do if it was mine? I wouldn't let this thing loom over my kids. Believe it or not, YouTube, I don't know, it's, it's, it's better in real life, but this, that's a lot of trunk weight, oak, leaning the wrong way, with potentially ugly um, foundation. In other words, rotten wood at the base. That's why I went with the bucket truck, bigger, more weight, more pull without having these blocks. And rather than just compensating this way, which would be a stiff arm, it would have less leverage that direction. So we're going for, we're going for it. It would suck to fail on this one. Let's see what happens. So yes, it's punky inside. Yes, it leans back like nuts on punky wood. And yes, I just hit a nail. Okay. super old square spike and um, that's right where I need to cut so no more Humboldt I think we'll we'll make a traditional notch that's a good excuse to move the cut and find some new nails yeah let's look for some new nails <laughs> That's not what you want when you're cutting wood. Yeah, I told the guy. I said, if it's solid in there, then I apologize now, but I don't think it is. 
This makes me think... I might put another line in it, just a precaution. Nah, it'll be okay. That's that's a big truck. Yeah, I, and that's I think, a pretty high pole. Yeah, I think we've got quite a bit it, of pull. If it starts setting back on my back cut with all that tension, then we'll put another line in it and put the black truck out there with the winch. Mm -hmm. Let's see where where should I put you guys? Hmm. Where do you want to be? I think... I think I'll put you guys right here. How's that? You guys pretty comfortable right there? Okay. Huh? Is that pretty good? You got a good view? Here, let me, let me adjust that for you a little bit. In the Buck and Billy Ray spirit. Okay.
okay. Yeah, pull it over. So, so yeah, <coughs> my voice cracked a little because I get nervous. But um, not, it's the kind of nervous where you know you're doing the right thing, but but you still have like these these little shoulder angels that are bad that are going you can't do it you should do something else you're crazy well this wood is junk that you see how there's no hinge uh there's no like fibers this is dk total junk look at this see that doesn't tear off hard, that's just garbage. Total. Yeah, I'm glad I told this guy to cut it down. And then inside the tree is a slug. What are you doing in here? Get out of there. Okay. He wants to stay. He's like an extreme slug hanging out right there. Where is he? He's down in here. Oh. I always wanted to make a big face cut in a hollow tree and then get inside the hollow and then have somebody fall the tree with the bar going over my head and then stand up as it falls <laughs> and be like, this is the first place the sun has shined on me in this spot ever. Yeah. That's kind of dumb. I just thought of something that some of these uh, saw nerds uh, these aspiring saw nerds might want to hear. This is, this is a huge hinge. The reason I stopped cutting and told him to pull over the tree is because I knew that the hinge did not go all the way across, like the whole middle of it was gone. Otherwise, this would be, you know, you might put too much pressure on the rope and stuff if you're pulling over a hinge this big. But uh, because this was missing the whole center of the tree and because this is just junk, I knew it was time to stop cutting and start pulling. So with the same, with the same dynamics, the you know, back lane and everything, if it was a completely sound tree, what do you think it would have done for hinge? Oh yeah, like completely sound tree. Yeah, I would have brought it up to three that inches. That would have been all the way across. Three so. inches all the way across, yeah. Yep. Like that is the only thing that looks halfway decent, is this. Yeah, and it broke like the Butterfinger bar. <laughs> yeah, but then this is like all the way into here. Yeah. It's crusty. Yeah, so you gotta be pretty committed to make a face cut in a back leaner you know that's putting it opposite of its lean so yay uh, bull rope and we had it up there pretty high blah 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 you guys saw the whole thing anyway you want too much talk <laughs> <laughs>